Okay, Deadpool 3 trailer just dropped a few minutes ago. I've been watching it a few times already. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump right into it with my thoughts and predictions for the movie after this insane trailer. There's so much to talk about. I'm shocked this video isn't going to be like three hours long. But intro starting, I love that it starts with a birthday party. Classic, funny Deadpool humor. I'm really happy to see everybody back here, especially Marina Bacharin's character, Vanessa. I'm very excited to see her. Peter... The time travel worked. We got Peter back. That's awesome. I think it'd be really fun if he tagged along for this movie too, but I doubt it. I think everybody in this scene, I think, is just going to be here in the beginning and they're all going to be left behind in a dying Fox universe is my big theory for that. But love that he gave himself a toupee. I think that's hilarious. This is really exciting. I love that the TVA are arresting him because you know, all that time travel he definitely did in the post credit scene is 100% illegal. There's no way he's going to be allowed to do that. Pegging joke is amazing. <laughs> Saying that about Disney, that's such a good line. Finally can in the MCU. We've all been begging for it for years, I know. But I think it's really cool that they're having Deadpool get carried over into the MCU by the TVA. I think it's such a smart idea to naturally bring him over where it's still the same character from that Fox universe. It's just he messed with the time stream. Whatever happened in that multiverse, it wasn't supposed to happen, so the TVA just come. They pluck him out of there, kidnap him, make him go bald, which is maybe the biggest crime of all that the TVA committed. But I think it's a really smart way to naturally integrate him and show it's that same version, but utilizing the TVA because, before we get into this, the TVA is a really great tool they have. And after Loki Season 2, that brilliant ending, it's exciting to see this new era for them and what they're up to because we know they're all about Kang prevention, so maybe whatever Deadpool did in that post credit scene, it led to Kang coming in down the line, which would be really crazy. But then, of course, he gets kidnapped and stolen and now interviewed by matthew mcfadden from succession who i love what he's doing as mr paradox this is going to be such a fun dynamic between the two and i think right here is going to be really exciting where deadpool is going to go through and have to learn about like the mcu's history because there's gonna be a lot of fun nods and winks he can make talking about the mcu i, I also like to think that like the tva whenever you show but they just kind of show you what happened in the mcu because loki they show him everything he missed in his life after he was brutally murdered by thanos and had his neck snapped like a twig and now deadpool just gets to basically watch captain america the winter soldier you know what i would love to watch captain america the winter soldier too i get why he's saluting he's just like me for real All right, i've seen a lot of people say right here this is professor x and you're close but this is actually cassandra nova who emma corin is gonna be playing in the movie who is professor x's evil sibling uh, his sister and basically he had to kill her in the womb it's a really dark origin and then she swore revenge and wanted to destroy all mutants and everything he created but i could see cassandra nova having an important role in this movie where in that fox universe she was put into the void now she's trying to hunt down wade and all that or maybe she's going throughout the multiverse destroying all professor x's something that could really have drastic consequences but it's rumored that she's gonna be the villain of the movie and i think that's a really interesting choice and it's a villain I didn't really expect, but I'm excited to see because I think there's a lot of history there. And especially if we do get a Professor X cameo at one point, there's a world of storytelling they can do with it. I've been freaking out about this. So obviously Deadpool walk walking into this fancy little club. But this is the exciting part. Right there, that has to be Patch, who is Wolverine's undercover identity. where this beautiful white suit and he has this eye patch over his eyes, hence the name Patch. And I think that's him there. Now, judging by the build, I don't know if that's Hugh Jackman though. Part of me thinks there was a rumor a while back that potential spoilers ahead daniel radcliffe might cameo in the movies as a wolverine variant like how people have fan casted john krasinski's mr fantastic people have fan casted daniel radcliffe's so a little bit of wink and a nod here i think this might be him that's my prediction here he's playing patch and deadpool's going throughout the multiverse trying to find wolverine or whatever his mission is here but i think that is going to be daniel radcliffe as patch which i think is an insane thing to just put in here but i love it i was freaking out when i saw that and I love this upcoming suit-up sequence here. It's 100% a reference to the 2003 Daredevil movie with Ben Affleck because that is a very iconically goofy sequence like that and Deadpool is 100% parodying that, especially with the little ass grab there, which is a power move if I've ever seen one. But I'm pretty sure that is exactly what this is referencing. And we already know Elektra is going to be in the movie. There's been rumors of Ben Affleck, so maybe he's doing this suit-up sequence as he's going to find Ben Affleck's Daredevil or something crazy like that. Or maybe it's just a fun little knot. We need more suit-up sequences like this in superhero movies. It's a lost art. I miss when we got to see stuff like that. We need more goofy moments like this. Now, right here, Deadpool is fighting a bunch of people in the woods. I was confused why he'd be fighting the TVA. They recruited him. 
But that truck down there, that tree branch, it looks very familiar, and I was trying to figure out what it could be. I'm pretty sure this is the same spot that Logan died in Logan. That same tree, the flipped over truck, there's a few disparages there. It's not like one for one remake of the set. And I think what happened here is that Deadpool goes back in time to try and stop him from ever being killed so he can have his dream buddy cop movie. And he goes back and he misses it so Wolverine's already dead at this point and that's why there's snow there. It's changed the seasons. Truck is still there. Tree Branch is still there. Maybe even runs into X-23. Please, I want to see her back in the role so bad we were robbed of more movies. But I think the TVA try and stop him because maybe he goes rogue and he tries to do this. And now he ends up fighting and ruthlessly murdering all the TVA. Now, I love seeing... Deadpool with a budget like that goes insanely hard as he's reloading like oh my god the slow motion catching it I'm so, we're gonna get so much like that in this movie it's gonna be incredible that right there I'm pretty sure that is the alias from Loki the guardian of the void who Loki and Sylvia had to enchant together I'm pretty sure that's him and this is them in the void together you got some stuff in the background that might be from Captain America the First Avenger, like the motorcycles and the tank looks familiar enough, but I wouldn't bet money on it. I love how much blood there is in the trailer too. I know it says it's not yet rated, but it's 100% getting that R rating and just seeing how much blood, like there's never been anything like this in an MCU movie before. And I think it's really cool that we're finally diving into not only the world of mutants, but R rated MCU movies. And hopefully it does well so we can get a lot more like this. Now, I didn't recognize him at first, but this is actually Pyro from X2. A few weeks ago in an interview too, he said he has to think about if he'd ever want to return to the MCU fully knowing he'd come back for this movie, which I think is very funny. But this is the first actual confirmed mutant from that Fox universe who's like that same version now in the void that has been confirmed, which I think is really exciting that they just go and say Pyro is going to be back. I'm assuming that what's going to happen is that the entire Fox universe, as seen here in that background with that 20th Century Fox logo, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that the Fox universe is getting pruned due to maybe an incursion of sorts. And the people that return in cameos like this, like Pyro, they're basically just kind of all living out in an apocalyptic Mad Max version of the Void. And I think that's really cool. I'm assuming maybe at one point Deadpool gets pruned and that's why he's in here. Or maybe he self prunes because he needs to figure out why all the people are in there. I have no clue, but I think it's really cool that they're bringing back all these actors in a way where they're in the void it makes sense it's all fitting it's not like a forced cameo like it's part of the story that the fox universe is dying in a very meta way with that sign and it's up to deadpool to try and figure out what's happening and stop it now here this is what we've been waiting for for years but before we can get to that look over there on that left side that is a secret wars comic like, that just straight up says Secret Wars on it, so maybe they're teasing Deadpool's gonna have a big role in Secret Wars, maybe they're teasing Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is gonna have a big role in Secret Wars. I have no clue where that's going, but that is put there for a reason. And I think it's, it's really interesting if they're gonna have these two be, like, maybe the two leads of Secret Wars, because they, every in the trailer, they're meticulously edited to show only what they want us to see. So that Secret Wars Easter egg is intentional, and it's either teasing the future, or they just put it there so people like me would go insane over it and spend hours trying to figure out what's happening. But this right here is the big money shot. Look at this. I love it. I wish we did get to see Wolverine in the trailer. We've got enough set picks. And this right here is already like the hardest shot in the entire MCU. I love the seeing the claws like that. And it's just so surreal to have Wolverine finally back. And there he is. We get a little tease of him. You can't get better than him in the casting. I have no idea how MCU Wolverine's going to be able to top him. But I cannot wait to see him back in the role. And judging by this interaction here, him and Deadpool's dynamic is going to be hilarious. <laughs> And of course, the title reveal. I love that they went with something simple as Deadpool and Wolverine because it's basically just going to be a buddy cop movie with the two of them on a road trip throughout like an apocalyptic void. And it's simple, but it's really surreal to just see Wolverine in a Marvel Studios title. Like, that's wild. I never would have thought we'd see the day. And now we're finally here. So yeah, that trailer was insane. I, If I thought I was excited for this movie beforehand, my anticipation has jumped tenfold this movie is going to be incredible and there's a lot of people talking about oh deadpool 3 is going to save the mcu the mcu is fine there's been a few bumps on the road but deadpool 3 i think is going to reinvigorate fans and get them on board it's going to be the first movie that kind of really leads the way towards kang dynasty and secret wars i think there's going to be a lot of big steps taken we saw that comic book it's obviously leading towards something and i think what's happening here 
is it's going to be the first movie that really sets up Secret Wars in a big way since this is the only movie in the MCU up to this point that is taking place in a different universe than our own. What If is a show, it's taking place in different universes, obviously, but those are all MCU-style plots. This is a different universe entirely with new characters, a lot of new places to explore, and I think that's going to be really exciting to kind of broaden the scale of the multiverse saga and kind of bring everything together in a really unique way. And it's rated R, which is really cool. I really want this to perform well because I think that there's a huge future for more rated R MCU movies. I know Blade, maybe even Thunderbolts are riding on how successful this is because they might even get an R rating, which that would be crazy. And I really want to see that happen now. <laughs> Insanely excited for this movie. I really think it's going to be peak MCU. I think it's going to be really exciting to see Deadpool make the jump over the MCU. I'm glad that it's the same version and they're easily explaining with the TVA. I'm really happy to see the TVA in there so soon after Loki season two ended and see what that organization is like now that Loki has turned himself into a tree. But I'm just most all of all excited to see Deadpool and Hugh Jackman finally get to act as comic accurate versions of the characters. That dude Deadpool suit is already gorgeous. Seeing Hugh Jackman in the bright yellow and blue Wolverine costume is a dream come true. I never thought we'd see this after he hung up the claws a few years ago and now it's becoming a reality and we're only a few months away so I'm gonna go spend the rest of my night week maybe the next few months just rewatching this trailer on loop because it's one of the best trailers I've ever seen and I think it's really building excitement for Deadpool 3 in a nice way so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below if you have any crazy theories or something I missed in the trailer and yeah I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching